Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, you know what ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't like Apple very much, but I think that's very evident in the last couple of weeks that I've talked about this stuff. Now, in order to begin real quickly, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, okay, guys and gals, I don't totally hate Apple, alright, like I'll use Mac OS, it's fine, I kind of just dislike Apple from the amount of absurd prices they charge for their hardware, and honestly the... The advertisement is a bit of a sketch fest since, since the early days, but you know what, it's fine. Let's go further into it. Recently, people have came out with reports that Macs are as dangerous as Windows, but I think these reports are a little dubious. You know, if you think about it, every system is dangerous. I don't use Linux because it's super duper secure. I mean, it is, but if you're an idiot, and you're downloading shady application 1234, you could use the most secure system in the world and still get your shit stolen. Uh, Windows 10 isn't like, you know, more secure or, or dangerous by nature. If you're downloading shady program 1234, you're screwed. If you're on your cell phone downloading shady program 1234, you're screwed. If you're downloading shady program 1234, and of course there's also shady program 56789, on your Mac, you're screwed. You're gonna get your data stolen. The biggest antivirus you can honestly download is, is, is some common sense. Go to the mirror in your bathroom, look deep into your soul and ask yourself, am I dumb enough to download a shady application off the internet? And if the answer is yes, you might need to educate yourself. And if the answer is no, I'm smart, I'm not a total troglodyte, then guess what? You're gonna be just fine. But going further into it, ladies and gentlemen, I kind of wanted to go over the things that sort of peeved me up a little bit. If you go back to the days of advertisement, you know, Mac versus PC had some of the most stellar ads, you know, where they had the uh, Bill Gates lookalike and the sort of young Mac dude. But one of the things that always got me was, hey, Macs, Macs don't get viruses. Now, let's just stop for a second. Viruses exist in every way, shape, or form, right? You can write malware for any operating system out there. There's tons of exploits, and most malware that's out there doesn't have to really be something that breaks a zero day or something that has to be breaking a specific part of your system. Sometimes it just preys on an individual that really doesn't know a heck of a lot about computers. For one instance, there's something called adware. Remember when I told you to download Adblock or something like that? I wasn't kidding. Adblock, Ublock, a lot of these services I definitely recommend because when you're on the internet, there are going to be malicious advertisements. There's going to be a lot of people who launch pop-ups with 10 or 15 ads just to make money off of you watching 15 ads in any way, shape, or form. But adware is one of the most strongest types of malware that's out there. It's purely designed to make money. It's purely designed to use you in order to make somebody else some cash through some weird landing page that's out there. And honestly, some of these ads can get a little bit malicious. You know, just the act of browsing the internet and you hitting, you hitting some shady websites could lead to a potentially bad time, which is why I kind of recommend going with an ad block, all right? I'm not saying that. I would rather lose a couple bucks of revenue on the internet, okay? It's fine. If, if, if you don't get your data stolen or you don't, you don't get sent to some weird fishy site that has some really malicious advertisement that's on it. I would rather have that happen than the other way around. A couple bucks versus somebody getting their information stolen, you know, you gotta weigh one or the other. That's just how it is. So given the fact that those, that kind of malware exists, Macs are being targeted a lot more. Why? Because people do use Macintosh systems. You know, a lot of people's home laptops, home computers are switching to Macs. Some people use them. And because a portion of the world that has some form of money to them owns Macintoshes, of course they're going to be targeted. It's a popular system, it's owned by people that have a portion of wealth, and that's just what it comes down to. Now, one of the things that I wanted to cover over here was the lose-lose virus, right? Now, of course, when you go back to the days of OS X Mountain Line, this is one of those computer viruses that was kind of a game, but what it basically did was it got you to uh, play this game, and if you lost, you would actually have a certain file deleted. Now, I don't, I don't recall exactly if this hit system files, but it was a program that was definitely destructive. It destroyed computer files and that's just what it is. You can't run it anymore because Mac doesn't have backward support for 32-bit applications. So, you know, that's just how it is. And not that I would actually think this could do anything, but I'm pretty sure Macintosh systems have actually uh, negated this, uh, this malware to begin with. But one of the things that I wanted to target was these stupid booster applications. Now, ladies and gentlemen, booster applications exist for Mac, Linux, and Windows. And a lot of people get these advertisements all the time. Have you ever seen these advertisements where people tell you, hey, download this program and it'll speed your computer up? 
Well, to tell you the truth, a lot of these programs really drive me insane because they don't really speed your system up to begin with. And most of the times, they're often there to be potentially unwanted in my opinion, if anything. You know, if you go back to the time when we looked at the Mac Keeper rabbit hole, I actually got a fresh Macintosh that I installed, uh, I reformatted, redid everything. And what they did was they basically told me that my system was infected or it was slowed down. A fresh system was slowed down. And that's the people that they effectively prey on. So I wanted to just show, sort of show you the kind of things to watch out for. One of the things that always gets me about these applications is like immediately when I actually start the system up, some of them will tell you straight up that your system is dangerous. Oh yeah, is it really dangerous? Well, let's try to check out what's going on. Uh, automatically install updates isn't enabled, nor should you ever enable it for Mac. You should just let it tell you, hey, you want to update and just update at your leisure instead of potentially risking your system. Oh, you got a firewall off. Okay, I guess that's, that's okay. Turn the firewall on. That's fine. But to say that my system is dangerous, that's a little bit of a heavy thing to say. Nowhere was my system actually dangerous. These programs just outright say it to outright scare you and probably get you to buy like a full version if anything. Oh, system junk? What do I got for system junk? Let's see, system cache files, application junk files, language files, trash, Mac OS. You know, the last thing you should ever delete or something that is something that's, uh, that the system is caching. And that's because you're actually gonna make your system slower if you start getting rid of its cache files because when Mac or Windows or Linux makes caches, it's literally there so that it doesn't have to do the same process over and over and over again. Meaning the next time you run a similar process, it doesn't actually consume much resources on your system either. It just calls back what, what's, what's there anyways out of memory. So when you're messing around with your system caches or things like that, it's, it's often a bad idea than it is a good idea. Now, the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, I'm making this video because I know that a significant portion of you out there do use Macintoshes, and of course, despite all the stuff that I do, uh, I don't really, I, at the end of the day, I still want you all to be careful and safe, and I'm just pointing out things that you should really watch out for, and this goes to anybody using Windows or Linux or whatever out there. There's going to be adware, which will begin to target individuals of all operating systems. You know, as the world moves towards the web, Operating systems aren't really the most important thing to have. The, the concept of using Windows or Mac or Linux is slowly shuffling. Things are moving more towards web services. So regardless of what you're using, you know, everyone's going to be hit by adware, these potentially unwanted uh, sites that are available on the internet. But as far as unwanted, potentially uh, uh, unwanted programs, if anything, everyone's going to be hit. You know, Macs are getting more and more of these by the day. And it's getting hit by a lot of people that don't really know much about their computer to begin with. And that's okay. If you don't know anything about your computer, that's fine. Trust me, I don't know about rocket engineering either, but, you know, that doesn't stop me from wanting to learn or understand that I don't know certain things. You know, with computers, you're gonna come across a lot more of these applications that are out there to help you. And honestly, it's, it goes back to what I said earlier. The best antivirus is you. Go into the mirror, look into your soul, and ask yourself, am I gonna download this dumb program or not? If the answer is yes, educate yourself now. Because the more and more you expose yourself to stuff like this, the more and more you risk your personal and private information. So whether you are on Windows 10 or Mac or Linux, it actually is pretty independent of, the, of that situation out there. If you're downloading any program or you're on the web, definitely watch out for this. Get some form of an ad block if you don't have one already. And get yourself some common sense if you don't have it so you don't download these optimization programs or these random virus, uh, virus check programs out of the internet because the moment you start downloading something and giving it administrative privileges is the moment you need to start questioning what you're doing on the computer anyways. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudor, and I am...